I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready Rebellion. with her. She is above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. What is worth? She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it's Avelia. At least until we've done what we came to do.
Revelio. Charming. They keep in touch with each other. <gasps> there she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. There's no cunning back now. Domain. She'll make sure we know it.
It's a little too warm if you ask me. Uh, I don't suppose you'd listen to reason. I'd normally try, but I won't pass that. There's the nest. We're almost there. Confringo! Revelia! Why is every bridge here broken? Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I'm ready whenever you are. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. 
Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by Spin Witches when you can. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Was there something you needed? Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house elf to help you with it. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. Oh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop and you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm. However, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. <sighs> Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? Penny's fine. Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. What kind of things would I be able to sell in the shop? All kinds. Anything from essence of Disney to mooncalf fur. If a buyer exists for something, then Penny can sell it and get the best price. Just ask Mistress Mason. Why are the premises in such disarray? Oh, the previous tenants were not mm, able to manage very well. They seem to have given up rather quickly. <gasps> Penny is perfect. 
completely capable of helping clean and repair, so the shop will be ready for business in no time. How is it you're so good at selling? Seems unusual for a house elf. Oh, before he died, Penny's previous owner, Master Mason, trusted her to do all sorts of things to help him with his shop. Penny supposes it is a bit unusual for a house elf to possess such skill, but Master Mason commanded it, and Penny was happy to oblige. Master Mason was a wonderful master. All right, I shall go and find Madam Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. Madam Mason, I understand you have a shop to Why, sell. Yes, yes, I do. Are you interested? Perhaps it depends upon your terms. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm, an exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Ha! Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favour of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Yes, an unsuccessful shop would be bad for nearby businesses, I'd imagine. Quick one, you are. Do we have a deal? What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shop ready for business and ensuring its success. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon Hello, as possible. Mara. What do we have here? A 
Demi-Kreis. Mein now, Demi-Kreis. Revelio. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. <laughs> 